Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. I'm a holistic nutritionist and wellness coach. And this channel is all about how we can naturally reduce our anxiety and stress and ultimately improve our mood. And today I want to talk about vitamin D. I'm really excited about fall and all that it brings like the changing colors, cozy sweaters, and fall scented candles. I love fall scented candles. But today I'm reminded of what else fall brings, like shorter days and gloomy weather. So that's why I wanted to talk about vitamin D with you guys today. Vitamin D is actually a hormone that plays a role in supporting our bone health, our immune system, but it also plays a role in the release of neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin, which uh, plays a huge role in how we feel emotionally. There are foods that contain some levels of vitamin D, like salmon, herring, sardines, egg yolks, and mushrooms, but we get most of our vitamin D from exposure to sunlight. The sun's rays actually converts cholesterol in our skin into vitamin D3. A large percentage of the world's population is actually deficient in vitamin D, especially in climates that are colder and where people have to stay inside more often, like here in Canada. Um, and a deficiency in this essential nutrient can lead to a mood disorder called seasonal affective disorder. And with seasonal affective disorder, people often feel really low mood, they feel depressed, and it's difficult for them to get out of this mindset. And that is why it is recommended that people that live in climates such as Canada or colder climates like this, that they supplement with vitamin D. The recommended daily dose of vitamin D is different for everyone, and it depends on the amount of vitamin D stores that you have in your body and how much sunlight you're exposed to on a daily basis. The dosage can range from 400 international units or IUs to 4,000 IUs or even higher. In some countries, supplements are highly concentrated, but here in Canada, regulations only allow for a maximum strength of 1,000 IUs for adults. Since everyone is different, it is important to get your vitamin D levels checked out and you can do this with a naturopathic doctor to see what dosage your body needs. I personally take 4,000 IUs a day because that was recommended by my naturopathic doctor and that's the amount that I notice makes me feel better emotionally. I've tried a few different supplements, but the one that I like the best is the Liquid D3 Drops by Can Prep. And the reason I like these ones is because um, 1,000 I use is concentrated in a tiny little drop. Whereas other supplements, you would have to take a whole full milliliter to get the 1,000 I use. Um, all I have to do is take four tiny little drops to get the 4,000 I use that I want. Vitamin D is a fat soluble nutrient. So it's important that when you take your vitamin D supplement that you're taking it with foods that are high in healthy fats like avocado or eggs or you're taking it with a fish oil supplement or a flaxseed oil supplement. And if you live in a colder climate like me, beginning the vitamin D habit now will give you a great start for the long winter ahead and continuing it throughout the winter will improve your mood drastically. Last year, I really noticed the effects of my deficiency. Around the middle of November, I started to feel really down. I was really negative and irritable, and I was impacting the people around me. And it wasn't until late December, early January, where I wondered if maybe it was my lack of vitamin D. So when I started taking my vitamin D supplement again, I noticed right away. I had a clearer mind. I was focused. I was able to think po more positively about things and I was more motivated to work towards my goals. This year I began taking my supplement in September and I've actually become more aware of how vitamin D affects me even on a daily basis. If I've missed my taking my supplement for a day or two, I'll start to feel down and I'll wonder what's going on and then I'll think, oh yeah, I haven't taken my vitamin D in a while. And then once I start getting back on track, even after one day of taking it, I'll think, wow, I feel so much better. That's how powerful it is for me. So I definitely recommend looking into it if you do feel your mood slipping a bit. 
But keep in mind that sunlight is still the best way to get your vitamin D. So even in the winter months, try to get outside for at least 30 minutes a day. And around noon would be the best time to do this. Try to make sure that you're not totally covered up like with your clothes unless you're risking frostbite of course and refrain from um, applying sunscreen for a few minutes to allow that conversion to happen on your skin. So just to recap here, vitamin D is our sunshine vitamin because it makes us feel happy and because exposure to sunlight is the best way to get our vitamin D. We can get vitamin D from some foods like fish, eggs, and mushrooms, but if you live in a colder climate like me, you might want to consider supplementing with it. Remember, if you struggle with your mood, there are ways to feel better naturally by changing your lifestyle and habits even just a little bit. So stay tuned for more videos like this one where I talk about how we can reduce our stress by changing our internal and external environment, eating more nutritious foods to improve our mood, and bringing more peace into our lives. If you like this video, please let me know. And if you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe to my YouTube channel and join me on Instagram. I hope you have a wonderful day and that it's filled with sunshine. As always, stay healthy and happy. Bye.